So endocrinology is the study of hormones, and hormones are chemical messengers that regulate many biological functions, including reproduction. There are about 12 zoos across the U.S. that have endocrinology labs, so it's something pretty special at the St. Louis Zoo. My name is Corinne Koslowski. I'm the endocrinologist at the St. Louis Zoo in the Department of Reproductive and Behavioral Sciences, and this is the endocrinology lab. So it's very rewarding to be able to work with everyone at the zoo and use science to provide the best care possible for our animals. Um, one hormone that we measure frequently in the lab is progesterone. Progesterone is a hormone in uh, females that increases after ovulation and also during pregnancy. So by measuring levels of progesterone, we can both track reproductive cycles and determine if a female is pregnant. Elevated levels of progesterone are indicative of pregnancy. We are currently doing weekly progesterone measurements with Ronnie, our pregnant female elephant, to make sure everything is going well with her pregnancy. Every week, keepers collect a small blood sample from Ronnie's ear, which she presents willingly. She's been trained to participate in her own care. A blood sample is collected from Ronnie and brought to the lab and placed in the freezer until further testing. Um, on the day of testing, the sample is removed from the freezer, diluted with assay buffer, and run on an ELISA test. And we use the 96-well ELISA plate to determine how much progesterone is in the sample. After the plate is set up, it's placed on a shaker table for two hours and then a plate washer is used to wash the plate and prepare it for um, additional testing. Several more chemicals are added and then it's placed in the plate reader for testing and analysis. So this is a graph of Ronnie's progesterone from 2018 through the present. Um, these are her older data. You can see rises and falls in progesterone corresponding with her ovulatory cycles. But then later in 2018, you see a rise in progesterone and her levels are maintained above baseline throughout February. This is indicative of her pregnancy. So when we're testing her progesterone, we're making sure that her level falls within this range that we've measured. Ronnie's progesterone levels indicate that everything is going well and that she's having a healthy pregnancy. Later on in the summer, as we approach Ronnie's due date, we'll begin doing daily progesterone testing. Elephants are pregnant for 22 to 24 months, which is a pretty wide window, but with progesterone testing, we can more precisely determine when she's going to deliver. When progesterone levels drop, we know that birth is imminent, and we'll share that information with our veterinary and animal care staff to make sure everyone is prepared and to make sure she gets the best care.